The premise of my video on composite position was I'm laser cutting paper for a three ring binder and I noticed that the holes had to be positioned more tightly to each other than the pattern did on the page in order to fit the binder. My mill was very capable of cutting the holes relative to each other, but if I didn't place the paper properly on the mill, the paper could end up shifted or angled so badly it would hang out of the binder. I realized these were two different requirements with two different bullseye sizes. The bullseye of the holes to each other would be much smaller than the one for where the page sits in the binder. Now one way to specify that is with composite position. So I did and I went into great detail explaining the rules and reasons behind it. But there's another way to specify the requirements for patterns of features and it's called multiple single segment. Right away you'll notice that multiple single segment has two position symbols instead of the one big one and that's a huge hint as to how it works because with multiple single segment each segment has its own symbol. So you can think of them as following the same rules as any other position callout if it were completely on its own. And that's what makes composite different. It only has the one symbol. That tells us that both segments can't possibly follow the normal position rules like multiple single segment. These have to share that one symbol. Now a trick for remembering the rules for composite position tolerance versus multiple single segment is to think of the two bullseyes like two brothers, big brother and little brother. Now with composite position, those two brothers have to share one room with a single position tolerance symbol. But with multiple single segment, each brother has his own room with his own position tolerance symbol. Big brother has his own room with his own position tolerance symbol and little brother has his own room with his own position tolerance symbol. Now before the little brother came along, the bigger brother had the room all to himself and he really hasn't changed. Now he sees the upper segment of the single segment over here with his own room and thinks, yeah, that's me. He acts as if his little brother isn't even here. But truthfully, for both composite and multiple single segment, the upper segments are the same. They both ensure that the edges of the paper don't stick outside of the binder. That's their job. Their basic dimensions point to the datums at the edges of the paper, placing the center of the bullseyes exactly where we want them. But as we learned in the video on composite position, even though Big Brother acts like he's the only one there, Little Brother controls just a portion of that symbol with his datums, which is rotation. You can think of him flicking it like a fidget spinner, or better yet, think of Little Brother running all around Bigger Brother's room wherever he wants to go, spinning around whatever he wants to do. But with multiple single segment, the little brother has his own symbol, his own room, but then pays the price by having to live with all the same rules that the bigger brother does. It's kind of like they're twins. The only way to tell them apart is by their datum selection. Now they have to follow the same order to make sense, but if you use all the same datums in both segments, then you can't tell them apart. They end up controlling exactly the same thing and there's no point in having both of the segments. Here's what this looks like. Using composite, any datums in the lower segment only control rotation of the pattern of features. The only basic dimensions that matter are the ones between the holes. But if we use multiple single segment, any datum that's added switches on the basic dimensions back to that datum. In this case, datum A is the surface of the paper, so it doesn't have a basic dimension. But using datum B locks our little brother to a fixed distance from the inside edge of the paper. His center is then locked at true position from that edge. But 
since we haven't used datum C in the lower segment, he can still move up and down away from C as much as he wants, as long as he stays inside Big Brother's larger bullseye. As you might suspect, there can be cases where both composite and multiple single segment mean the same thing. For instance, when we only add datum A for the lower segment, the only thing multiple single segment can control is orientation to the surface of the paper. So it's doing exactly the same thing as if it were composite. It isn't until we add datum B that our smaller bullseyes get locked to a distance from that datum where composite would simply lock rotation. But we can still translate relative to that edge. Now, if you're reading the standard or taking a class, you're going to run into these terms Platz and Fritz. And in my example, Platz is the big brother and Fritz is the little brother. Now, in my experience, those terms don't really help people understand what the upper and lower segments do. It's just more of a communication tool that Platz is this pattern locating tolerance zone and Fritz is the feature relating tolerance zone. And in the latest version of the uh, Y14, they actually went in there and said that Platz and Fritz don't apply to multiple signal segment, where in older versions, it clearly did. So yeah, if you need to know those for communication purposes or a quiz question or something, yeah, just think of the Platz, think of the P for the pattern, and Fritz is the feature uh, relating kind of thing. Uh, but ultimately, it's much more important that you just understand what the two different ways of controlling these multiple holes on the page do. And while we're talking about the standard, they do include an example where the second segment of a multiple single segment does not include any of the datums that are used in the upper segment. They come in and put D here as the only datum in the lower segment, and it, it is a very peculiar example that you're not likely to run into, but it does make sense. It's basically one that controls perpendicularity as, in this case, A would, but they're throwing a different surface in there because it's off at an angle. So legally, yeah, you can put other datums in here, but it's very unlikely that you're going to see it that way. Whew, we made it. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. If you found it helpful, please click the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.